Thank you for inviting me to share my story today. I'm, my name is Judy Aiken. I'm a 70-year-old retired registered nurse, born and raised in Portland, Maine, where I live with my husband of 47 years. I've been battling psoriatic arthritis and psoriasis for over four decades. These conditions have taken a heavy toll on my body, but the, but the financial strain of the medications I need has been equally challenging. 17 years ago, my doctor prescribed Enbrel to manage my condition. It's been a lifeline, but one with a staggering price. Since its introduction 26 years ago, Enbrel's price sky has skyrocketed by more than 700%. Today, it is priced at $7,106 for a 30-day supply. Last year alone, I paid over $9,000 out of pocket for just this one medication. The cost was overwhelming. As a nurse, I spent years counseling patients on the importance of taking their medications consistently. But the cruel irony is that I've sometimes found myself skipping doses, unable to follow my own advice due to the prohibitive cost. Every trip to the pharmacy was a source of anxiety. How much would it cost this time? Could we afford it? What else would we have to sacrifice? My husband and I were constantly juggling our budget. We postponed needed home repairs and stopped going out to eat. Then came the Inflation Reduction Act with a glimmer of hope. This year, I braced for another 12 months of expensive pharmacy visits. But after paying $2,150 in January and $1,141 in February, the real shock came in March. I went to pick up my prescription and discovered my out-of-pocket cost was zero for the rest of the year. I nearly cried at the pharmacy counter, and I'll say the pharmacy staff did too. Even after advocating for the passage of drug price reforms in the Reflation, Inflation Reduction Act, I was skeptical it would actually benefit me, but it has. And this year, my out-of-pocket costs have been capped at $3,300. And there's more relief on the horizon. Next year, the out-of-pocket limit will drop further, capping at $2,000 for everyone on Medicare Part D. For patients like me who rely on exp expensive medications, this is truly life-changing. But it's not only the IRA provision that I will benefit from. Enbrel was one of the first 10 drugs selected for Medicare negotiation. After the inaugural round of negotiated prices were released in August, I learned that beginning in 2026, Enbrel's price will be reduced to $2,355 per month, a 67% reduction. These lower negotiated prices come after decades of advocacy from patients like me and represent the first time in Medicare's history that the program has directly negotiated prices with pharmaceutical corporations. These 10 drugs cover treatments for common conditions such as diabetes, heart disease, arthritis, blood clots, and roughly 9 million patients on Medicare will take at least one of these drugs who take at least one of these drugs are projected to save $1.5 billion out of pocket in 2026 alone. It's important to note that the out-of-pocket savings are made possible by lowering prices. We cannot do one without the other. The impact of these changes cannot be overstated. My husband and I can now breathe easier. We're addressing those long postponed home repairs, and we may even be able to take a trip. But most importantly, I no longer have to choose between my health and financial stability. This, this is the real tangible impact of the Re Inflation Reduction Act. It's not just about the numbers on a page or political talking points. It's about people, seniors like me, who have worked hard their whole lives and who can now afford medications we need to live healthier, more productive lives with dignity.